Welcome back. It is 726 on a Monday. So we continue to celebrate Black History Month all month long. And with the upcoming nomination of the first black Supreme Court justice, we wanted to talk more about it. Joining me now with more on that and what this month means for her is attorney Janice Brown. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Well, first of all, thank you for being here with us this morning. You know, we've been having ongoing conversations during Black History Month. And I just, first of all, wanted to ask what specifically this month means to you. Well, I think the thing it means to me is that black history is United States history. We, we, we've highlighted, we look at it, we learn more about ourselves as a country as we study the black heroes and sheroes that have dedicated themselves to making this country the best it can be. So that's how I look at it. It's our history as a collective together. We're just focusing on a certain portion of it so that we can highlight and emphasize and congratulate those that have contributed. And speaking of history and speaking of contributing, you know, you are one of those people contributing to this culture, contributing to the United States. You have more than 35 years, I hear, of trial, arbitration, and appellate experience in both state and federal courts. Can you talk a little bit more about um, how you're kind of a pioneer in your own industry? Well, I grew up in Montana, which really makes me a pioneer. <laughs> and then I went to law school at Gonzaga, and I had a fantastic opportunity for my first job to work at the Department of Justice. That changed my life. Representing the United States is my very first job as a young lawyer, and that led me to San Diego, because San Diego was my docket. And once you travel back and forth from D.C. to San Diego, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that San Diego is a fabulous place to be. And I've had wonderful opportunities opportunities being in this community, working at a firm called Seltzer Kaplan, having in my own firm for 20 years, and now being with Myers Nave, which is an up and coming, very successful California firm. Watch out for us. Uh, we will. Janice, I have to ask your experience specifically as a black woman in this industry. Um, is it an industry where it's kind of um, uh, not even in representation, would you say? Well, clearly that's the case, but part of it is, is because of the nature of law. Law looks backwards, okay? That's what we do. We rely upon what happened before. Right. But what we're doing is we're also making an effort to look forward. As I can tell you, the reason that I was, I'm so high on Myers Nave is because we're really making a, an, a really concerted effort to bring excellence to the firm. And what you realize is excellence comes in a whole array of different people. So that's what I see that for my challenge. I've had challenges, but it's made me very resilient. And that's the benefit of of having challenges because you must overcome them. Now, you are the founder of the Brown Law Group. Can you tell us more about that? Well, I had my own firm for 20 years, and one of my great clients was SDG&E, and they're the ones that say, you need to become a diverse-owned law firm. And I said, wasn't it obvious I'm a diverse-owned law firm? <laughs> and they said, no, you need to do some things to make it more official. Then after having my own firm for 20 years, then I joined Myers Nave in October of 2020 during COVID, one of the best decisions I've made in my career. And how do you think that that has helped other uh, minority-owned businesses or just people in general? Well, I think what it does is it causes people to change their minds. I mean, part of what's happening in this world right now is we have a lot of division in our country along color lines. And one of the reasons that I did this interview and agreed to want to be on your on your show is because I wanted to emphasize that we don't have to look at things as differences. We can look at what we have in common. And what we want to do with having cultures, uh, different people from different cultures come together is to create more trust because trust is the element that causes causes people to feel better about their work environments or just their friendships. And that trust builds and creates some good positive energy. So that's what I think the emphasis on black history. That's why I appreciate you mentioning my background, because I want people to understand that there's a lot that we have in common as opposed to what we don't have in common. I like it. It's just lovely hearing you speak. You should go into every single person's uh, place of employment. Cause I think we all crave that sort of trust and culture, as you're saying here. Um, um, you know, obviously, we are having a first, our first black female justice being appointed to the Supreme Court. I would love to get your thoughts on that. 
Well, I've been thinking about that and I actually wrote a little LinkedIn post about it because okay. I was preparing for this interview and I thought about it and I thought about all the black judges, women judges that I know, and they're all impeccable. I mean, it's very difficult to become a judge anyway. It's mm -hmm. extremely difficult to become a federal judge. I've had the privilege of serving for three senators to pick federal judges. And when I see women of color come through, they are really so amazing and so well qualified. So what I think that people are focusing on the diversity component, but I think people should focus on the excellent component. If somebody is a black woman, a judge who's being considered for the Supreme Court, you can bet your bottom dollar that they are extremely well qualified and brilliant. As they should be, right? Because they wouldn't have gotten that far anyway. You're right. Exactly. Uh, Janice Brown, we do have to wrap up. Any parting words before we go? No, I just appreciate your focus on Black History Month. I love the brewery. I'm going to go go to the brewery and have <laughs> some pretzels. So I love that you did that, and I keep doing it because it's really important for our community to bring us together as opposed to apart. That's right. Thank you so much, Janice. We appreciate you. Thank you.